In the past 24 hours, the Ukrainian battlefield recorded 217 intense clashes between Ukrainian defense forces and the Russian military across various fronts, indicating a significant increase in the intensity of confrontations. Russia's attacks varied in intensity across multiple directions, with Ukraine steadfastly resisting and repelling many assaults while achieving some notable victories. In the Vovchansk area in the Kharkiv direction, Russia launched three unsuccessful attacks. Kharkiv is one of Russia's critical targets due to its strategic location near the border, and this area has been a site of fierce clashes throughout the conflict. In the Kupyan direction, Russian occupiers conducted 19 attacks on the settlements of Stepova, Novoselivka, Sinkivka, Stelmakivka, Krugliakivka, and Lasova. This is a vital area along the supply and transport routes for both sides. These attacks show that Russia is still attempting to maintain and expand control here, but the Ukrainian army successfully held its ground. In the Lyman direction, Ukrainian forces tenaciously repelled 10 Russian assaults in areas including Chernyshina, Grykivka, Druzhelyubivka, Novosadovo, Terny, and Zarichny, demonstrating Ukraine's solid defense in protecting critical strategic positions and preventing enemy advances. In the Siversky direction, Russia attempted only one attack on the Vimka area, which Ukrainian forces quickly repelled. Meanwhile, in the Kramatorsk direction, Russian forces tried nine times to break through Ukrainian defenses in Chasovoy Yar, Kalinivka, Ivanivsky, and Bilahora, but failed. Additionally, they attempted nine more attacks on the Dakhny, Turetsk, and Sherbinivka areas in Turetsk without achieving results. In the Pokrovsky direction, Russia carried out 36 attacks of varying intensity in areas such as Zeline Pole, Marinivka, Krasny Yar, Vozvizhenka, Novotoretsk, Mirolyubivka, Grodivka, Chervoni, Selidove, and Novogrodivka. This is one of the hot spots of the conflict where Ukrainian forces face significant pressure from the opposition. However, with strong defenses, the Ukrainian military has managed to hold many critical positions in this area. In the Kurikiv direction, Russian forces conducted up to 58 attacks to break through Ukrainian defenses in the Sukhrin, Jalan Perche, Yorgivka, Hernik, Dalnya, Oleksandrivka, Katerinivka, and Kostyantinivka districts. This was one of the largest scale attacks of the day, showing that Russia is concentrating substantial forces here to attempt a breakthrough. However, the Ukrainian military has shown resilience in stopping these attacks. In the Vermivsky direction, Russia used air forces to support attacks on Ukrainian positions. The enemy carried out 18 attacks in areas including Vugladar, Prishistivka, Novodarivka, and Bogoyavlenka, but failed to achieve any clear success. The use of air force shows that Russia is trying to increase pressure on Ukrainian defenses here. In the Orykiv direction, six clashes occurred near Mala Tokmashka, Lobkovo, and Novodonolovka. This is a strategically important area, and Ukraine successfully defended against Russian attacks. In the Dnieper direction, Russian forces launched three attacks, all of which were unsuccessful. Over the past 24 hours, the entire front line in Ukraine has witnessed intense and continuous clashes, with a total of 217 engagements. Although the Russian military carried out numerous large-scale attacks on critical directions, such as Kharkiv, Kupyan, Lyman, and Karakov, Ukrainian forces held their defensive lines and repelled most of the assaults. The conflict is complex, with several areas becoming hotspots of confrontation. However, the resilience of the Ukrainian military in defending territory highlights their ability to maintain resistance under growing pressure from Russia. Attacks continue, and the conflict remains highly dynamic with complicated developments ahead.